is up, YouTube? Jericho426 bringing you our first ever, but not our last ever, champion review. Our verdict, our final verdict as to this new champion in Marvel Contest of Champions. Is he good or is he bad? Is he awesome or is he a man, right? And today, guys, we are going to be looking at the new cosmic champion, Super Scroll. And we're going to be rating him from a one star to a five star. Do you really want to go after him? Or is he just kind of cool to have on the roster? Well, guys, we're going to find out today. This is our final verdict, the ultimate review of Super Scroll. All right, guys, so let's break down uh, Mr. Super Scroll here. What do we think of him? Well, I got to tell you, let's look at him first, guys. So I think Super Scroll is a fantastic looking champion in the game. And I have been way, I've actually been wondering, like, where is Super Scroll? You know, there's so many villains, so many other characters they've chosen. They've chosen some really obscure people to bring in uh, in the past in Marvel Contest of Champions. And I've been wondering for a while, where is Super Scroll? And I'll tell you what, guys, I was super excited to hear that he was coming to the game. And even so much so that I went ahead and I bought the early access crystals to try to get him. I lucked out and I actually got a four star, not the best, but still a four star version of Super Scroll. I unfortunately did not get the awakened uh, ability. I didn't get him twice. We're going to go into that in a moment. Excuse me. Bleh. What was that? Pizza. That's what that was. Um, so uh, Super Scroll. Uh, love him. He looks awesome. His animations, guys, his animations are killer. I love, you know, how well they did with combining all the different abilities of the Fantastic Four into them. I love that he's got the thing arms that are on fire and then they kind of stretch out. They got the Mr. Fantastic going on. Uh, his heavy attack, guys, his heavy attack looks mad insane. He's got like that, that Hyperion, that multi-punch going on, but then he's doing it with the long flimsy arms. Um, and then his special attacks, his special attack one, very, very cool. He's using that invisible boulder and smashing into you, right? Uh, special attack two, at first I was a little bit, ah, you know what? It's so fast and it, it I mean, it looks cool, but it's just so fast. It was like, oh, I built up all that energy for nothing. But with his play style, it really makes sense. You want a very fast special two because his damage output is based on those Furies, right? And those Furies expire. So the faster that special two goes, the more you can get into dealing damage with those Furies. Um, and and so it makes sense to have a, a quicker one. So it kind of grew on me at first. I didn't like it. Uh, and then there's a special three. Special three is pretty cool looking. It's not the best special three that looks in, uh, in the game, but it's pretty cool. His utility, uh, you know, he's got some immunities, but not crazy immunities. I don't think he has a whole lot of utility. So if you don't have a whole a lot of utility, well, what are you hoping for, right? You're hoping for some great DPS, some great damage output. Uh, but does Super Scroll have that? So I got to say, it's at this point in the review when I think, you know, we got Super Scroll and I feel like maybe he's just super dull. Uh, I really hate to say that. I really do. Um, but I've talked to some other people and I've seen some other reviews online and man, they all kind of feel the same way. We've got all this build up this really great cosmic champion, in which there are some really great cosmic champions in the game, and it takes a while to build up his rotation to get his damage going, and then it's just kind of not there. So I think, you know, overall, as far as like his damage potential, he's great for some shorter fights, um, and even may maybe some mid-range fights, but I gotta tell you guys, when it comes to a longer fight, some in-game content, some higher things in the game, Super Scroll's just not the not the champion I'm going to take into battle with me. Uh, you know, first of all, if you don't have his signature ability unlocked, his signature ability provides a power gain every time you go into overload. Um, it takes a while to ramp him up. And on top of that, so it takes a while to ramp him up. It takes a while to ramp Super Scroll up. And then the other thing is your buffs, your Furies and your armor buffs, that require you to get to special one and special two in order to rotate them and increase that damage. They expire so quickly that if you don't have him at max signature level, it's very difficult to get to that times 10 fury and have that Nova fist and the unblockable and all this other stuff kind of going on. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to play him without having a max signature level character, which 
It's not that max signature level characters are bad, but it means that at least in their current form, uh, when you first get them, they're not going to be nearly as useful. And in his case, even when you have him at max signature level, he just doesn't justify the amount of DPS that it takes for you to like get there. Like I would not spend signature stones on Super Scroll unless you just have no other cosmic champions to spend them on. Um, his rotation is so Super Scroll's rotation is actually a little bit difficult to maintain. It's much easier with that signature ability, but still it's difficult to maintain. You're trying to build up five fury buffs to convert into five armor up buffs to then convert into five more fury buffs, right? Uh, and in hopes of, of stacking them and getting 10. But the issue is that if you're not really good at dexing, I'm not great at dexing. I'm okay with it, but I'm not fantastic. So if you're not really good at dexing, you're going to have an issue maxing out his potential because you have to strike to get those fury buffs up, right? But every time you get hit uh, or, or you block a hit, you're then going to gain an armor buff, which is going to decrease the potential fury buffs that you have to convert to armor and then back to fury. Is anyone else getting confused yet? I know I am. Uh, but seriously, guys, so his, you know, his his rotation is a little difficult to maintain. Um, it's very dependent on skill level. You have to have a fairly high amount of skill for uh, Super Scroll to really work for you. And then even when you get to that top tier damage potential. It's just not what you're wanting for all the work you're putting in for him. His, his synergies. So Super Scroll has some interesting synergies. He doesn't really have too many that benefit him personally. Um, he does have a synergy where he can replace any character of the Fantastic Four. That's kind of cool if you really want to run the Fantastic Four synergy, but you're just missing one of the champions. Um, he's great to replace them. Super Scroll also has synergies with Dr. Doom and with Iron Fist. Uh, the Dr. Doom synergy doesn't do anything for Doom himself, but what it does for Super Scroll is it has him start the fight with a Vigilance buff for 15 seconds. I mean, really, I guess if you're going into a really, really like Spider-Man heavy quest, maybe that's good. I, I just don't see the benefit of there. Um, now the, the Iron Fist was interesting. It doesn't do a whole lot for Super Scroll. Uh, for Super Scroll, it gives him, basically every time he has a Fury, it also gives him an Armor Break. Well, every time he activates a Fury, I should say, he's going to gain an Armor Break for four seconds. Four seconds expires really fast, and you're it, it stacks up to five, but I don't see you ever really being able to stack that thing effectively to five Armor Breaks, and even when you do, they're just going to expire in four seconds. So it doesn't really do a whole lot for his damage. Maybe you'll get a little bit more out of it, but not a whole lot. But for Iron Fist, it does something very interesting. So uh, the first four of Iron Fist's personal armor break debuffs, they start paused. So you're going to lay an armor break on there, but instead of expiring, it's going to be paused. Now, the cool thing about this is that when uh, the opponent uh, has the, the armor break debuffs and they trigger a buff, then that buff is going to be immediately nullified. So basically, his armor breaks are working like a stagger. Okay, so whenever they try to activate a buff, those armor breaks, they're already causing damage, um, it's going to stagger them. So this is really cool, guys. Um, I haven't tried the Iron Fist series yet. I think I only have like a three star, uh, but I do plan on kind of testing it out. And then if it's pretty cool and I, I can find some good video footage, hey, I'll, I'll release a video on that too. Um, so... Honestly, one of the best things about Super Scroll, as weird as it sounds, is the Iron Fist synergy. Um, if nothing else, he's at least good for that. So I kind of debated over this, guys. Like, where would I put Super Scroll? Uh, one star, five star. I, he's not horrible. I mean, he has some cool stuff about him. So he's not a one star, right? But he's not a five star. Like, what would a five star be? You know, Corvus, maybe. Corvus is a five star, right? Spider Ham is a great uh, version of a five star, a great example of a five star. Uh, Human Torch, Johnny Storm, great five star champion. So, where does Super Scroll rank, guys? Um, I gotta say, based on the difficulty of maintaining his rotation, based on his damage output, but not his absolutely just lackluster everything else. I think I'm going to put Super Scroll at around a three. He is a solid three-star champion. He's not useless, but he's definitely not my choice of champion. 
Um, I'm probably going to use her for some use them for some content that isn't that big of a deal, but I just want to have some fun with different champions, guys. So for the Super Scroll, our final verdict, our rank on him today is an absolute three star. Guys, I hope you are enjoying the content. I know I'm enjoying making it for you. Uh, if you will, please hit that thumbs up button just really quick. Two, two milliseconds. Just tap that thumbs up button for me, guys. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. If you will as well, uh, subscribe to us, guys. We're going to be releasing reviews and guides every month for all the new champions and a couple of the surprises I got in store for you, too. One last thing, guys, for me, if you will. Do you agree with my ranking of a three out of five stars for Super Scroll. Do you think it should be more? Do you think it should be less? Or am I right on the mark, guys? Let me know down in the comments. Type me in just a little message. It only has to be, no, you're wrong. You're ridiculous, Jericho. Whatever you want to put, guys. Um, just type a little something down there because I'll tell you what, guys. If you don't leave me a comment below, well, you know, what's going to happen is that if you like to shoot bows, you know, like Hawkeye, Every arrow that you shoot is going to turn into a limp noodle. Just like Super Scroll is kind of a limp noodle. It's super dull. No. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just gonna, so you're going to try to hit the target, right? And it's just going to go like that. It's just going to it's just going to fall down. It's going to be a limp noodle. And even if it goes the distance, it's just going to be like and just like splat onto somebody's face. It's, it's not going to be effective as a weapon. Um, if you're a hunter, uh, you're just not going to get anything. Um, in fact, the deer will probably eat you know, your noodle instead of, instead of being impelled by it. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, leave me a comment down below. I really appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic week. Catch you later.